All right. Uh, first look for myself at Lincoln Speedway. And uh, not really a place I know well. Um, we have not got an upgrade to the art detail on the outside of the track. That looks absolutely horrendous on the outside. But um, we will see what this place is like. I know the pits are odd because they've got people sitting in the infield. Oh man, this is going to be hell getting onto the track with traffic. Not as bad though as places with the uh, pits on the outside. Um, let's just take a nice few slow laps around here. Looks like they are using speed trees on the outside. Very odd hills coming in and out of the turns. One, point two, a big eight, dip one. into the corner and Really, really strange horns. So we're in the 410. Let's uh, see what this does. God, that corner is nuts. Don't try the bottom here. It's good, it's not a cookie cutter. There's some awkwardness to it. Kind of like a wheat sport. Turn one, really tight turn one. It kind of reminds me of the egg shaped tracks in the old dirt track racing games. Yeah, it's a fun track. It's a good addition. I thought it was actually more kind of like a Williams Grove, but this is a nice, unique track that is a completely different feel than all the others. Let's go check out pit entry. See what that's like. Not that we'll ever be using that, but I assume we turn in back here. Pit box in yep. three, two, so one. So it looks like we just right have here. a couple of stalls on the infield. Let's uh, real quick, and all my spec maps are messed up, so I have to go in and change those. But let's. Uh, Stick it back a few laps and watch the uh, different TV cams. From the stands. And they did not do the nearby bias correct on that camera by default, so I'll have to fix that. Good, good looking track other than the horrible textures on the outside of the track. I'm not sure I like speed trees either, but really not going to be noticing much of those once you're actually racing. It's a cool track though. Um, Let's go do a little fly around right now while the uh, car is going around. Take a look at some of the different elements. We've got the victory lane and the scoreboard or video board. We've got the yellow foam. I believe it's foam up around the top of the fence. We've got. Uh, chain link above. Oh, and there's Steve and Dale standing down in the darkness in the tunnel. Uh, over here, I don't think we... Oh, we do have the other end of the tunnel over here. And then uh, a really fancy little Lincoln Speedway sign here. The stands. Normal 
normal thing you get. Uh, some houses up here on the hill. And what else do we have? Got way off over here. Sorry. It's way in the back here over on pit road or on in the pits. We've got the scoreboard and everything. So uh yeah, cool little track. Take a look from above and got the golf course on the back stretch. And uh then just all your normal very low detail stuff that you can't see from the track. So, all right, let's hop in a uh, big block and uh, you can skip ahead in the chapters for once it loads. It's just much easier for me to do the video this way without a bunch of rendering. And let's go with late afternoon. So, um, I will just pop this up here so that you can see, uh, once again, a uh, new thing for dirt tracks on iRacing, we don't get night lighting, so apparently that's no longer a thing for dirt racing. Um, Saturday night short track racing, I guess is now Saturday, and you just aren't allowed to race at night anymore on these new tracks. Uh, no reason why. No word over the last 13 weeks for my racing on why Lucas Oil hasn't got them. They still haven't got them. Uh, it's just what iRacing has decided to do now. Um, maybe they have a reason, but from the outside looking as a customer... And a content creator kind of seems like they've just quit giving a crap. And to not even just say, hey, we're working on like a new lighting system, or we didn't have time to get this done, or I don't know. Just just say something. Don't just say, oh, hell yeah, we, uh, we put lights on every other track that we've ever released for dirt that has lights. But these last two... We're not going to do that, because, yeah, I, I don't understand it. It's it's a very odd situation, and I don't really like where they're headed with it. Um, at least the new UI tells you if it has night lighting, but it's pretty poor on their part to just not even respond over the last 13 weeks to, hey, why, why don't we have this? But I guess we're just going to have to assume that we will no longer be getting night lighting at dirt tracks. That's the only assumption that we can make based off the information they're giving us. So yeah, track feels a little less awkward in this, going as slow as you are in the big blocks. It's going to be a good big block track. It really is stuttery, though. I'm not sure why I have so many stuttering issues with this combo. It doesn't, doesn't seem right, but it could just be that new track not optimized well. I have no idea. Or it could be the shaders that I... No, it's not the spec map. It wouldn't be... It's definitely stuttering now, though. I, I mean, I'm getting 130 frames, but it's stuttering through the corners, which is very unfortunate. I don't feel like we were having that issue with uh, the sprint car, but... It must be the lighting time of day. It's a good track. Um, it's once again just half finished, and uh, what was that? That was weird. I think it's 
There's some weird lighting issues happening here. Like, that's right about where the stuttering happens as well. And you can see... Like, there's no shadows crossing the track there, but you can see, if you watch the wheel and the body, you can see this weird flashing that happens right there on corner entry. Flashing there as well. I don't know what's happening. Um... Yeah, I guess let's go out and uh, try the street stock, or what do I want to try here? I guess let's just do uh, super late model. And, uh, well, let's put it at sunset. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about... I mean, I know that for some reason they're very... I don't know. Sick of dirt? Or it turned out to be too difficult or something? There's something... Something has changed in the past three years. Um, and they have just stopped putting the effort into uh, dirt racing that they once did. And, I mean, when you ha release two new tracks, I know that the road tracks come out and they don't have night lighting that they should with specific, you know, buildings that have lights in some other places. But for short track racing, for a track that is this small, um, I don't know. Why are we, why are we putting out half finished tracks? Or why are we not explaining why, you know, why are they doing this? Don't get it, but it is the way it is now. This is just... This is I racing, I guess. So let's uh, get around the track in the super, which is going to be an absolute cluster for me because I am terrible in this thing. My God, one and two is just so awkward. Not as bad as Wheat Sport, but. It is going to be one of those where you get idiots flying in and just wiping out people above them. Just toss it in. That did not work at all. Just box the engine. Alright, what do we got? I mean, you're not going to be able to wall ride here very well. Like on corner entry in three and four. You might be able to around here, but I think the wall disappears and Yeah, that's not gonna happen. This will be a good track. Oh yeah, we broke it. Um Yeah, this will be a fun track to race. But uh let's go ahead. I mean what was that? It seemed like the car was... Okay, it was just blurry. I mean, these are lights on the inside, right? Like, they do race at night here. It's not just a bunch of speakers. Yeah, those are lights. So, I guess let's check it out at night. Uh, we will do that with the only cars that we really can do that with. Um... I don't know. It worries me. But hopefully, I don't know, hopefully once rain comes out, they'll start trying to fix the dirt. But I think 
I don't know. I think I think we're nearing the end of dirt racing on iRacing. I know it's never going to just go away, but I feel like people are going to just stop renewing, stop buying content. Uh, new tracks won't be as popular. I hope not. I mean, I hope they actually put some effort into it, but it's... I mean, I've seen what they've done to the Sprint Car and the Silver Crown. Uh, no one races those, so they put zero effort into them. We haven't ha It's still on the old tire model. Uh, that is, that is where the Sprint Car and the Silver Crown are. Um, they've just they haven't had an update in six years, other than to fix a prediction code problem with bottoming out. And, um. Yeah, I don't know if that's where dirt racing is headed, but you know, we keep getting the we know we're working on it. It's not going to happen anytime soon. We've been getting that response for the last 2-3 years since they brought out the last major update for dirt, but um yeah, this is the only way that we can run this track at night, so we're going to do it. Here we go. We're dirt racing at night. This does not have dirt tires. This has no grip. <laughs> you can go 30 miles an hour. That is just spinning the tires. Alright. I had to give you a night preview of this. This will be the thumbnail too. Just so that... Uh, I mean, the headlights work well to light up the place. I guess if you want to do some night racing, do some uh, multi-class, have four people join with uh, GT3s and park in the corners facing out from the infield and have some night racing then. You know, used to have to do stuff like that for dirt racing at Oxford with people putting dirt on, but... Sadly, another half-finished track that you have to pay full price for. And uh, that is the final thoughts on this. Give you a little, little view of the pitch black, no moon, no lights anywhere track. Lincoln Speedway. Is it worth the price? I don't know. Most of the cars look terrible at night anyways with the way night lighting's done, so really doesn't matter. It's probably better this way, I guess. But there you have it. Thanks for watching.